This is why Internet Computer Protocol will change the world by rebuilding the structure of the Internet. You're going to love seeing an incredible amount of details about exactly why this will happen, what Internet Computer is, the biggest problems it solves, how much I'm holding, applications that are actually fully on chain, what Brian Armstrong says about ICP, ICP is a Bitcoin and Ethereum layer 2, new, the newest news about Internet Computer. We're going to cover all of that and much more in this one video, which is going to do a deep dive into why Internet Computer Protocol is almost all of my crypto portfolio. Because in crypto, if you're not picking the number one winner in the long term, the best technology if you're not in that, everything else you're holding in your portfolio is a loser by comparison. That's why I've been looking and looking. What is the number one altcoin out there? I don't want number two. All I want is the very best. And Internet Computer Protocol is the very best. Why? Because it is, is the first big breakthrough in technology. It is computation at scale on blockchain. It is data on scale at scale directly on blockchain and this is a big deal because of what you can build on it which i'm going to dive deep into specific examples of things that people are actually building on this like an exchange just that are decentralized using things like bitcoin ethereum and icp all on the exchange 100 percent on-chain games which you can't do anything other than the simplest game Browser wallets for things like Ethereum that you can, th these are really helpful in developing countries where you need to hide your crypto from malicious authorities like, you know, pol dishonest police officers that will just seize your crypto. This has a solution that nothing else does on Internet Computer Protocol. Interoperability protocols like um, Omnity that you cannot build without Internet Computer Protocol. So let's take a look first. If you're brand new to Internet Computer somehow, or if you've heard this a thousand times, it's important to know the basics. So Internet Computer Protocol is the first truly third generation blockchain where there's nothing else that does huge amounts of computation the same way something like Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud does, but directly on the blockchain and that can store gigabytes of data at a very reasonable cost. For example, $5 for a gigabyte of smart contract memory. And if you don't know why this is a big deal, it's a big deal because if you're building stuff off chain, then the value's off chain. So if you're holding a token on Ethereum, but the whole application's built off chain, then your token on Ethereum is probably worthless because you have no real ownership over all that stuff off chain. This is why things have to be on chain. But the number one reason that Internet Computer Protocol is on pace to change the world is because of cybercrime. Cybercrime is predicted to cost the world almost $10 trillion in 2024 and more than $10 trillion in 2025. So what's the best solution to uh, stop so much of this cybercrime proactively? It's to build directly on blockchain. Because the existing infrastructure of things like AWS and Google Cloud is very vulnerable to hacks and crypto applications, which almost everything in crypto is built on these, which often is renamed as IPFS, so you don't think it's on those, but it is. Most of the crypto applications are extremely vulnerable that are not on ICP because they're very attractive targets. And uh, with building things in smart contracts, the big breakthrough for ICP is that you can build things in smart contract canisters directly on chain. And this allows you right now, there's four terabytes built in these smart contract canisters directly on chain. And there's hundreds of thousands of dApps or smart contract canisters that have been spun up. So the big breakthrough is that you can build your applications directly in smart contracts which makes them tamper-proof. They always run like they're supposed to run, which means there's not any back doors. You don't need any firewalls. You don't need teams of security personnel. Now, enterprises and big business can afford to have teams and spend tons of money, trillions of dollars on IT security teams, but especially for entrepreneurs and especially in the crypto environment where you've got these small teams that don't have a lot of funding, they need places to build secure applications that can't be hacked and can't be tampered with 
And internet computer protocol is the only infrastructure in the world that we have that can do this. And it, the ecosystem is thriving. You've got nodes in 20 plus countries. You've got hundreds of nodes and machines and data centers all over the world. Right now, each if you've got something on Internet Computer Protocol, it's on 13 different servers replicated exactly the same on machines around the world. So this infrastructure is the future to prevent cybercrime before it even happens, to eliminate huge costs associated with cybercrime. And that's why there's such a big real value proposition for this compared to everything else in crypto. And this is why I have over 3,000 ICP locked up indefinitely, and I have bought a Neuron with hundreds more ICP in that as well, and I've compounded my interest, and I'm transparent about my position because I've been in crypto 10 years. I've been buying Bitcoin as low as $170, and I swapped all my other crypto to this because this technology for what it can do and the team behind it, the largest research and development team in all of blockchain, is Definity. And for the team you've got in this versus the value of it, it's outrageously low. So that to me is where I want to have all of my investments. If you go to Definity.org, unlike the majority of things you see in crypto, this has hundreds of people on it with extremely talented people, you know, world-class cryptographers, award winners, engineers, cloud computing experts, this has the best talent in all of crypto, and they've put in, they've put thousands of years of person research into making something that is so far ahead of everything else in crypto that it actually has real value and preventing a lot of real problems. But the utility for it is nuts. Let me give you an example in OpenChat. So OpenChat is an application at OC.app, which is a fully on-chain Discord or Telegram community building application. And what's special about this is because it's on ICP and you can send crypto directly on it, I can use my same wallet that I've got all that ICP locked up in that I showed you over here. I just sign into OpenChat and then... I have a pay gate, so I can I charge one ICP to join my chat channel, one ICP for life, and then everybody is able to post in here. I, I have one single wallet, and every one of these posts is an on-chain transaction, which is how Internet Computer Protocol is doing thousands of transactions per second. But in terms of computation, this is hundreds of thousands of times or so the computation that Ethereum, the blockchain, is doing every second. So you can get an idea of how powerful this infrastructure is, and there's nothing even close to it. And open chat, this is not like speculative, or maybe this is what you can actually see and use on chain. What's really cool about this is because it's fully on chain, it's got all these crypto features integrated. What I do in my chat channel is when people give me information that is helpful, I send them ICP directly in my chat channel. So this is highlighting things you can build on internet computer you can't build anywhere else that have superior functionality compared to anything else. And then what's even better is this is true web three because open chat has a token that is used for governance. So if you go into the proposals channel in open chat and you hold the open chat token, you can read and vote on proposals in this channel with your open chat and you don't have to sign a transaction you just click the vote button whether you want to vote yes or no on it and you get rewarded for participating for example i click on this button it does a transaction on chain it votes there's no gas fees or anything i have to pay on it and this is a real on-chain dao token now, this will change the world because you've heard talk about Web 1, Web 2, Web 3, but what does this really mean? I'll simplify it and explain how ICP is the only real Web 3. Web 1, you basically could go to a website, but you couldn't contribute to it. Web 2, you have apps like Facebook where you can go to the website and now you can post your own content on it, but you have no ownership, no control. You generate massive values for these companies like Meta by posting all this content, but you get nothing back. It's a total scam and ripoff in terms of your time and energy. Web3 
has the technology on internet computer protocol only to have applications like open chat where when you hold the chat token which i do have some chat token if you go that's one of my smaller positions besides icp i have a, a few hundred dollars worth of a chat token here this allows me to vote on proposals this is real ownership this is a real functioning dao which means you can build applications like open chat only on internet computer fully on chain and this means that you can have true ownership over something that when i'm telling everybody about open chat and you're using open chat that's adding value to the open chat token as a DAO token, which is like an ownership token. And then that is occurring value to me as a holder of the token. And this is what's missing in our current internet. And this has been all the hype for Web3, but the fact is if you don't have all of your application on chain, you can't have real ownership and control over the DAO. Because the development team, if the community managed to get more voting power than the development team, the community on open chat for example could vote the development team off they could uh, vote to take control of the application and put a different development team on it and this is exactly what we saw happen with dragons dragons bought out on internet computer protocols launchpad the very first coin that launched did i mention if you want to launch a new product a uh, new coin a new application internet computer protocol has the absolute best launchpad in all of crypto by far it is so much better than these other launch pads you won't even believe it it's like really i can just throw in one icp to this project there's no kyc and uh, i'll get some of the tokens back and it's fully automated and it's on chain dow that's changing the world this project was initially that launched on icp it was the first coin to use the launch pad it had a different name and a different team and it was a fair launch and uh, the uh, people bought it up the, this game the people behind the dragons game came along and bought up a majority share in the token and then they voted to change the name of the token and to change the supply of the token and to change other rules of the token because instead of launching their own coin they thought it'd be easier to just buy one that was already launched and rebrand it and they were this coin ended up doing more than a 10x against the price of icp which has outperformed bitcoin in the last year and uh, that is amazing and this they are building a 100 on-chain 3d mmo and this is how icp will make the world a much better place because right now game developers are beholden to uh, if their games hosted for example on amazon Amazon can shut their game off at any time for any reason and if they've got investors the investors can shut their game off for any time and any reason and this is what happened to the holders of dragons the holders of the creators of dragons created a game called neo pets which went was very popular I didn't play it but it was very popular like 20 30 years ago it was one of the first big you know online games they sold it for hundreds of millions of dollars then they built a second game which was profitable and had an active community but i guess it was causing uh, the hosting company was not happy with something or another and the investors wanted to shut it down for some reason and the creators of the game were forced to shut down a profitable game with an active community and since then they've been looking for a way that that can't happen to them again and this is how these centralized infrastructures and investors control what kind of games get made and what kind of games you can even play on internet computer the dragons team realized that we now have an infrastructure where we can build a hundred percent on-chain 3d massively multiplayer online game and we'll never have to worry about getting shut down by the investors or by the hosting company because the hosting is decentralized on internet computer protocol and the investors are the community the token holders themselves and this game can be set up to just keep running even without the development team adding to it in theory this game can be set up as something that kind of takes on a life of its own so the technology internet computer protocol has is allowing us collectively to create things that you couldn't create before 
And the, looking further into the future, a game like Dragons, let's say I really liked the Dragons game, but I wanted to have my own version of the game that was called Jerry's Dragons or something like that. In theory, since it's all on chain, they could sell me an entire copy of the game on chain, and then I could just modify the infrastructure, the some of the details, and then everybody who had the NFTs for their original Dragons game could then play my version of the game where I could change the words of the quests. I could change stuff in the game. So this infrastructure is, because it's all on chain, this will unleash waves of creativity like many of us have never imagined before in gaming. For example, you could build a customizable card game on chain and then sell the base game to somebody else, like a license the game essentially, and then that new person like like could make a Jerry Banfield version of it where all the faces are Jerry Banfield, all the cards say Jerry Banfield, but the rest of the game functions the same. And then people having cards in either version of the game could then play either version of the game and basically just have a different skin on it. So if you see how things like Minecraft have thrived with all these different things people have created for it, all these different skins and levels, those are all centrally hosted and controlled, which really stifles a lot of innovation. So internet computer is a massive innovation for the world that most people aren't aware of because this is a world computer that you can, we can all build on. Now, let me be practical about internet computer at this point though, because some of you are thinking, this is too good to be true. There must be downsides. There are downsides. It is much more expensive to build everything on internet computer maybe five to ten times as much more expensive to build everything on chain compared to building out on something like Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud because those infra and uh, currently because those infrastructures have massive amounts of storage and computation available and uh, that's and they've been doing this for a long time and they can afford to make the prices dirt cheap on it because they're using the infrastructures too and they can essentially sell the extra they've got for a, lo a very low cost and they get the best you know prices however it's not secure and it's subject to these problems we've seen before and then if you want to actually have a community ownership then this is where the real value comes in so yes if you just want to build a website or although I've got my website on ICP because it's more secure and tamper proof and it's actually cheaper to throw a simple website on ICP than it is to use another web host. But yes, if you want to build some application like Dropbox, for example, I pay $45 a month to have 16 terabytes of mostly videos I've filmed over the last 10 plus years sitting on my Dropbox account. So if you do the math, that'd cost you like 80 hundred thousand a year if I wanted to put all that on chain it would cost a lot more to dump all that data on chain than it does to have it in my Dropbox but if I had all the data on chain I could sell all my videos as well or I could pay gate them with NFTs so yes this is not this is not an infrastructure that basically is intended to do every single thing all the time it's an infrastructure that is really good at solving very specific problems, like where you need your application to be secure. You know, it's not a big deal if somebody steals some of my old YouTube videos off a of Dropbox. If my Dropbox gets hacked, you know, that'd be annoying, but it wouldn't really ruin my life, so to speak. I've also got copies of the files on my computers, and they're already up on YouTube, so... But for something like a crypto application, you get your crypto app hacked, and that could have some serious problems. So let's look at, at problems this is solving that nothing else is solving. Right now, you've got Bitcoin and Ethereum as the two largest cryptocurrencies in the world. And these are addressing a very real problem of what do we do with currency? Governments are infinitely printing currency, spending them in ways where they have almost no accountability to us, and then devaluing the currency we work so hard for constantly. And Bitcoin and Ethereum are currently two of the best alternatives we have, where Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency that you can generally use around the world, and it's not controlled by any one specific government or company. 
Uh, this is great if you need to move from one country to another and you don't and you've maybe got like 10 20 thousand in cash or more and you especially in countries where things are not so nice where you might go to the border and get all your currency seized or even if you could get across the border your currency from one country is no good in another country so bitcoin has a lot of real value for being a global currency as an alternative to us dollar but Bitcoin has some very serious problems that make it impractical to use on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, the only way we're going to really likely see Bitcoin scale is through a layer two. This is a, a, another protocol that will add enhanced functionality to Bitcoin. For example, where you deposit your Bitcoin on the layer two, and then you get a copy of Bitcoin on the layer two that then you can use with almost no transaction fees instantaneously. Because if you use Bitcoin directly on the Bitcoin chain, you're looking to pay 10 plus dollars just to send one single simple transaction. And you might pay significantly more if you want to do something more complicated. And the Ethereum gas fees Ethereum has the same issue. The gas fees are even worse. You could pay $100 just to buy an NFT that's not even hosted on chain. So the only way we're going to really see Bitcoin and Ethereum scale are from layer twos. So Internet Computer Protocols technology has the best Bitcoin layer two technology in the world. So the more Bitcoin becomes a digital gold and an alternative currency to government currencies, you need a layer two to actually use your Bitcoin for day to day transactions. Because, yes, if you're moving from one country to another and you've got tens of thousands of dollars or more that you want to take with you, you could swap to Bitcoin out of your local currency and probably get scraped quite a bit in the process and then go to the new country and swap out of Bitcoin back into that country's local currency, probably get scraped again going the other way. And it, you also have to pay significant fees to do that and wait maybe several hours for your transaction to have enough confirmations on Bitcoin. So while in that scenario, using Bitcoin directly on chain on the as on Bitcoin layer one, that makes sense. But if you want to move to a new country and then not swap your Bitcoin to local currency and use your Bitcoin like somewhere like El Salvador where Bitcoin's legal tender, then you'd want to be able to use your Bitcoin with almost no fees and almost instantaneous transactions because you'd instead of getting whatever local currency there is in El Salvador and Bitcoin goes up over time, you'd rather just hold your Bitcoin and then go to the grocery store and spend uh, you know tiny bits of Bitcoin. And Internet Computer Protocol is the best technology in the world to actually do that. There are some other Bitcoin layer twos, but they're or things like the Lightning Network, but their technology is extremely limited in what it can do. And it's generally you don't have instantaneous or almost no fees transactions. You have to rely on some kind of either peer to peer or third party to manage everything. On Internet Computer Protocol, the network, it is set up through chain key cryptography where the network, it's got the Bitcoin private key sharded among many different nodes. So it's decentralized custody of the Bitcoin, instantaneous transactions and the computation power of ICP, which gives this the very best Bitcoin layer two technology in the world, which that would be impressive enough for if that's all ICP did, but it's also an Ethereum layer two. And this is a huge breakthrough because up until internet computer came along there were ethereum layer twos that have all the same properties and the need from that i described for bitcoin but if you had one ethereum layer two and then you had a bitcoin layer two well you can't do anything very easily if at all from that ethereum layer two over to the bitcoin layer two now on icp you can have a layer both layer twos on the same infrastructure which is insanely valuable you can have your Bitcoin, for example, in the scenario I'm talking about where you're moving from one country to another, and you might not want to have everything in one single Bitcoin or Ethereum wallet. So you might load up a Bitcoin and an Ethereum wallet and then move from the one country to another. And then when you want to spend your Bitcoin or your Ethereum and hold those instead of the government currencies, you can have both of those swapped into Chainkey Bitcoin and Chainkey Ethereum directly on ICP. Merchants who are using ICP could then accept Chainkey Bitcoin, Chainkey Ethereum, and Internet Computer Protocol, and anything else that's on ICP, 
all with nearly instant transactions, all with almost no fees. And you put those two together and what you're seeing, you're seeing things like Helix markets come out now where you have these all the one of the biggest problems we've seen in cryptocurrency is centralized exchanges. And in fact, the main way people interact with cryptocurrency is through centralized exchanges, which means even if the blockchain you're interacting with itself, like Bitcoin or Ethereum is arguably pretty decentralized, if you're buying and selling Bitcoin on a centralized exchange, you've essentially eliminated all the value of the network itself being decentralized if you are interacting with it on a centralized platform. And most people are trading crypto on centralized platforms. And if you don't build an exchange on ICP, on chain, it absolutely cannot be decentralized. And that's how, now you've got things like Helix Markets where for the first time ever, you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, ICP, and other cryptos in a completely decentralized manner on internet computer where you maintain custody of your assets at all times and using chain key twins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, ICP, you can execute transactions almost instantaneously. Some of these decentralized exchanges do not even have any KYC either. And you can, it's so much safer and more secure than using these centralized exchanges. And it also stops all the massive amounts of abuse that we've seen in centralized exchanges, where since you maintain custody of your crypto, the exchange can't take your crypto and then lend it out. The exchange can't double, triple sell your crypto and then intentionally short and push the price back down so they can rebuy it and make profits using your crypto. These are massive problems we're seeing in the world right now. And Internet Computer Protocol is the only thing that solves these. And the exchanges we've seen go down all the way back to Mt. Gox to FTX and all the others. These are some of the biggest areas we've seen people lose trust in crypto. And ICP is the only infrastructure you can build a truly decentralized exchange on. And we're seeing these decentralized exchanges pop up all over the place on ICP from these the launch pad on ICP. It just in the last year has launched Sonic, which is kind of like a Uniswap style DEX on Internet Computer Protocol. Then I see Lighthouse DAO where I swapped my Bitcoin to Chinky Bitcoin and swapped thousands of dollars of Bitcoin when it was at all time highs against ICP into ICP on IC Lighthouse DAO. ICP swaps integrated directly with OpenChat. In OpenChat, because this is all on chain, you can integrate these things together. So I can go into my wallet right now where I've got 49 ICP and I right now could swap into something like Chinky Bitcoin. I can immediately swap and I would get out of 49 ICP in my wallet, I would get 0.01 chain key Bitcoin, which I could then send at almost no fee back to the network nervous system. And then I could withdraw that 0.01 Bitcoin after getting scraped by a Bitcoin fee. I could withdraw that straight to a Bitcoin wallet. That's how cool this is. Like I have ICP sitting in my wallet. I could swap this to CKBTC and in by the time the Bitcoin network gets done with the transaction, I could have 0.01 Bitcoin sitting in my Ledger wallet. So this, and at the same time, because this is all on ICP, I also could buy chat right now. So if I if I go on here, and instead of buying CKBTC, I feel like buying chat, I could get 1,364 chat. And I'm thinking about picking up some more chat because I love this application. And this, this is real DAO governance. The better chat does, the better ICP does, the better chat does. This could be very valuable in the future. So this opens up an entirely new era of swapping cryptos where there's a bunch of these already on here and these can be given away directly in open chats. You can pay for things like I, I have some chain key Bitcoin here. I don't even know how I got this. Somebody must have just sent it to me somewhere. I have $12 of chain key Bitcoin, which can be... I can swap it instantly. There's so much I can do with it. And what's nuts is I'm just scratching the surface of this. There's here's something new. Definity just launched a Web3 accelerator platform on the Internet computer protocol directly on chain. So according to the press release, it's called Olympus. Olympus represents the first decentralized on chain Web3 accelerator. 
Definity said it's a, which, as we recall, is the company or the nonprofit organization that is the main contributor to Internet Computer Protocol that launched Internet Computer Protocol and that is continuing to innovate. Definity says it's a first of its kind platform that will be used by teams around the world to organize and launch their own accelerators. So this is an open stake model where projects and investors can interact freely, enabling permissionless ecosystem inclusivity and unlimited integrations. Because this is a real Web3 global platform, you can bring everyone together in one spot that's open. Whereas most platforms right now, and this will feature what Definity calls a trustless perpetual loop, where because it's on-chain verification of key growth metrics, then the more projects do well and you can see it and it's open to everybody, then the more it'll attract even more people to it. Right now, it, what's happening in crypto currently is most platforms where you're trying to get Web3 funding are closed and uh, exclusive. So they're not open to most people. They're not transparent. You don't know what's happening in there. And from my experience, that's where bad stuff happens. And it's also hard to grow those because they're not transparent and outside people don't want to participate. So this, this is one single example. Here's another example. There's an uh, ecliptic DAO where they're doing, uh, they're, they've created a stable coin backed by chain key Bitcoin. The innovation we're seeing on internet computer protocol is amazing because once developers are discovering this and they're realizing you can build things here, you can't build anything anywhere else. Let's look more at Omnity. Omnity has zero off-chain components. So what Omnity is trying to do is build an interoperability protocol that is the best in uh, all of crypto. And because of the incredible capabilities of Internet Computer Protocol, they're able to build all critical interoperability requirements that previously, before Internet Computer Protocol, were considered mutually exclusive. So before Internet Computer Protocol, you had to do your computation and build all this crap off-chain. Now, all of these things can all be addressed by Omnity simultaneously and built completely on-chain. They are able, and this is for like bridging all these different layer one, layer two currencies over here. And uh, this, this means that real usage on the internet computer protocol network, real products that are very valuable. And uh, with Omnity being the first cross chain system that does not rely on any off chain components. When people keep building things that you can't build anywhere else, they're going to get huge adoption because of superior functionality, and in many cases, way less cost than doing it with these other solutions. So this is, I did a video about that by itself saying, here's your sign to go all in on internet computer. Here's another project called Gold Dow. Now there's, there are some gold backed stable coins, but those are very questionable because they're off chain. They they say, well, we've you have this stable coin and it's worth the price of gold, but what accountability do they have in terms of where the gold is? All the accountability is off chain. You have a project on ICP called Gold Dow, which raised a lot of money directly on the launch pad here, which I participated in that. They raised hundreds of thousands of ICP and their project they have gold NFTs, which are hosted fully on chain on ICP. Now you have some of the richest people in the world like Elon Musk have dismissed a lot of crypto because they are informed about a great many things. And like Elon Musk told Joe Rogan that these NFTs hosted on things besides internet computer, where the truth is you have almost nothing on chain. All you have, you buy an NFT somewhere besides the internet computer, you have a little bit of data on the blockchain that points to something that's not on the blockchain, which is how NFTs in other places have been hacked and uh, had pictures swapped out. And Elon Musk joked and laughed. He's like, "That's there's no real value to that. I'm not going to buy a link to an image hosted off chain. But wait till he finds out about Internet Computer Protocol. Others have already found out about this and they've already built protocols to take this technology 
to the next level with things like NFTs and real world assets on chain. If you look at Origin, they chose to build Origin protocol on the internet computer protocol because of the infrastructure and its advanced unmatched technology. That's what I'm looking for investing in crypto, advanced unmatched technology. So what can this technology do? The NFTs built with, with the real world assets and the protocol with Origin can be used to build things like NFTs for gold bars. And when you're buying physical gold bar NFTs, you want to have all of your proof that you're buying a real gold bar and not some fake gold bar. For example, uh, if you're not doing all this stuff on chain, it'd be relatively easy for someone like me, for example, to say, oh yeah, you know, I've got, I got a bunch of these gold bars in my house. I'm gonna sell you these gold bar NFTs and maybe I do have, you know, maybe I, I had a few gold bars for real and I take pictures of them. Maybe I don't, but it'd be real easy to sell people these NFTs, which aren't even on chain. They think they're buying gold bars. And then guess what? There's no real gold bars. And eventually this is what we've seen in other gold projects. The whole project collapses. Why? Because there's no accountability. There's no transparency as to are these actually there with gold Dow on it internet computer protocol, they've got these gold NFTs where you can put all the data directly on chain, the certificates of authenticity and anything else you need to prove that there's a real gold bar in a real vault in a real country and that the NFTs are not being sold duplicate, triplicate, you know, 10x copies of the same gold bar. So you've got these gold NFTs and because the gold NFTs are on chain and trustworthy, then you have people buying them on internet computer and because the NFTs are on internet computer, then they're working on making a gold token that fractionalizes the NFTs and eventually will be put even into a gold backed stable coin. So this is something you can't build with kind of any kind of trustworthiness anywhere besides internet computer protocol, which is why this is so exciting, but there's so much more. Look at this. Here's a new B for B reputation layer on ICP. So things like influencer marketing are absolutely huge. I had consistently turned down all kinds of people that want to pay me to do stuff. I'm like, no, I'm, I have enough money. I'm here to make the best videos and do the best I can for people. And that generally means I don't accept sponsorships. The only one I've accepted in uh, the last six months has been a sponsorship to make internet computer protocol videos, which I was going to do anyway. I'm going to make this video whether it is an internet computer protocol gives me a community grant or not. It, it doesn't matter because I'm giving the best information anyway. And the only thing is I make most of my videos without talking about the price and without, well, I make the ones for the community grant without talking about the price or bashing a bunch of other cryptos directly. So this, this influencer marketplace these influencer marketplaces off of internet computer protocol, one, they don't generally accept crypto, two, they're not very transparent, three, the accountability and the ownership, you always have to go through some centralized party, which has made a lot of these marketplaces really suck, which is why I tried using a bunch of them and they, they don't work well. So with internet computer protocol, you can build all this stuff fully on chain where you can build advertisers and influencers can all work together and have the social network APIs connected directly into internet computer because you don't need oracles on internet computer. It can pull data directly from anywhere else that you could pull it with APIs. Then you have the on-chain activity to verify like for anything that's on-chain. For example, if you want to do a sponsored post in open chat, you could verify that directly on-chain. So you've got all the tools to use internet computer protocol as their website, the database for a fully on-chain advertiser and influencer platform. And because it's on internet computer and it's crypto, then the advertisers can pay and have their payment in escrow. And then the influencers can know that they've got payment and it's in crypto and it's sitting there in escrow contract and everybody can work together in a way that's transparent and that can even be governed by a DAO, for example, if there was a 
dispute between an advertiser and an influencer. You'd have a bunch of the data directly on chain, and then this could be submitted directly to the DAO, to the community to vote on, which is such a far superior experience to the way things work right now, not on internet computer protocols. So this is this is how internet computer protocol is changing the world by allowing things like this to be built that just can't be built without internet computer protocol. And uh, I've I have mentioned recently that with regulations, as we've seen some of the discussions on the future of crypto regulation, the logical and place for crypto regulation to target and the place we really need crypto reg regulation to target, we need crypto regulation to go after all these dishonest projects. And by dishonest, the ones that are false advertising, that are acting like they can do that they're acting like their project is decentralized when it's not. The website is owned by the team. The database is owned by the team. The NFTs are hosted on the team's Amazon account. The game is hosted on the team's Amazon account. And then they're claiming it's a decentralized project and they're a DAO, but all the infrastructure is truly under the control of the team, ex even including the token lots of times on the chain itself. So the, as I've talked about in a video recently, the future of crypto re regulation is likely to target cryptocurrencies that are falsely advertising themselves as decentralized when they're really not. And to require cryptos that are not actually decentralized to act like they are and to then get licenses and do KYC. So this will require cryptos that want to keep operating the way they've been operating to move onto internet computer protocols infrastructure because then they can say to regulators look our website is on decentralized infrastructure our token we got our token on internet computer protocol it's a real DAO. the database is actually on chain this is a fully decentralized protocol that's truly owned by the community and uh, this will allow all these DeFi contracts on Ethereum will be able to build out their everything besides the DeFi contract on Ethereum, all the user experience contracts, websites, databases, etc. And uh, the token can be placed directly under DAO control. So they can then claim true full stack decentralization and then uh, be honest. So it looks like to me, Internet Computer Protocol is going to get a whole bunch of these existing crypto applications that are hosting their websites on centralized infrastructure that have their databases or games or pictures nfts are all sitting on centralized infrastructure they're going to either have to start kycing and acting like a a normal you know a non-crypto application or they're gonna have to move on to icp so that is going to be absolutely huge and this icp if if that option wasn't there icp if ICP wasn't here, there would be no hope. But I think crypto regulation is going to be extremely positive for ICP. And uh, because everything's on chain, you can do some really unique things like Mod Club is just deployed a revolutionary on chain AI using GPT-2's tokenizer, where you can use this to try and do automatic moderation based on the words that people are typing in. So it uses a, a convolutional neural network to analyze the context of nearby words because you want to be able to, in something like open chat, you want to be able to filter for abusive language and do some of the same stuff you can on centralized services that's already built in. So you've got this clever solution here from Mod Club running GPT-2 on-chain AI. AI on ICP is going to be absolutely huge, but we'll get into that in just a second and wrap this up. So this is an example of uh, AI working fully on chain that then will be able to power any application theoretically on internet computer could be able to tap into this same model where if this works and you can tie it into open chat, then you could build your crypto game and tie it into the game chat. Because it's all built on chain, everything can all work together. And that's what we really need in life generally. And you can go test a model out here 
on uh, the link that I've shown you here where their redactor v1 is and all of these things I have a channel a chat channel in my open chat and an ICP alpha channel where I drop this information I pay people to give me information like this so I don't have to browse all this you know crypto Twitter and I don't have to watch and look at all this stuff myself I just give people ICP to give me this stuff like mentor vault gave me both of these I gave him one and a half ICP for giving me this info and then you can just grab this info everybody can grab this info on the ICP alpha channel and then you can chat with me in my chat channel here so you've got th that's what we need to be able to do is work together so if somebody builds something that's really innovative on internet computer protocol then you could easily let all these other applications on internet computer protocol use it the current infrastructure the way it works because you've got for example a crypto game it, it, they have to build all this stuff out on their own and then if they solve hard problems in their application it's not very easy for another crypto game especially if it's on a different ethereum layer 2 or if it's a different kind of game it's often not easy for these applications to share everything they innovate back and forth so internet computer allows us to build to work together more effectively with the technology it allows us to do things like have the OIC wallet where you can connect this most of these crypto wallets are very obvious I hinted at this before but I'll explain it in more detail this is an example of how internet computer is providing very real practical solutions that can you know save save somebody their whole crypto wallet there are some countries in the world where you've got the police the military and other you know gangs you've got these hostile forces in authority where you know generally in the USA if, and most of the time the police and military most of the time are going to give you a fair interaction they're not just going to confiscate you know your crypto off your wallet but in some of these countries they'll have these checkpoints and uh, they will take your phone and if you have metamask if you are sitting there with some hardware wallet they'll confiscate your crypto they will take it from you at gunpoint and literally all they need to see is that you've got the wallet on your phone so internet computer with something like the OISI wallet you can have a secret crypto wallet on your phone that no one can know about it sits there in your phone's private key where you're you're not going to ha have someone like a, a policeman or a you know military personnel in a developing country be able to like quickly look at your phone and uh, you could have crypto on there it's hidden in the key would be hidden in your phone's cryptographic private environment there'd be no app on your phone to indicate you have crypto and you could open only interact with your crypto through an uh, incognito browser with your device authorized and uh, if you wanted to have a little more security have a recovery phrase that's memorized and you could be able to pass through and not get your crypto stolen so this is building things like this matters to help people not get screwed over and taken advantage of and internet computer protocol is the only thing you could build this on where you can have a stealth application and have secret stashes of crypto that can't be easily observed or found out by anybody else and uh, this is really important if you want to see more where the future's going we'll wrap this up with a couple of other points here so internet computer protocol has the most advanced DAO governance in the world it has the most active not only the most active DAO, but in the last 30 days it has the most the top three most active DAOs in all of crypto and if you throw dragons in here it has four of the top 10 most active DAOs in the world and the number one is the network nervous system there is nothing else that even has 10% of the number of proposals that have passed as on internet computer protocol. Now, a couple of these have done something to either inflate their proposal accounts or passed a lot of ineffective proposals. But internet computer protocol, even with that, internet computer protocol still has almost three times as many proposals as any other DAO does, having almost as many as all the top 10 combined and that's because the network nervous system is fully on chain and it up it controls what happens on the internet computer protocol network and when you lock your voting power you lock your icp up you get voting power then you're getting 15 percent apr 
by voting on these proposals. So this is a very active DAO. And when you create a token on Internet Computer Protocol through the service nervous system, you get your own DAO. And that's why in the last 30 days, you've got the network nervous system, the IC Lighthouse Down Open Chat. IC Lighthouse Down Open Chat are what you could think of as sub DAOs. They're little smaller versions of the network nervous system. They're operating fully on chain on internet computer protocol. And this is a technology you need to have real Web3. And you can see proof that it's active. The IC Lighthouse DAO and Open Chat have had more successful proposals in the last 30 days than anything else in crypto besides the network nervous system. So the more developers find these, you'll see that most of the top 20 DAOs, you've got uh, you've got three, five of the top 10, and then you have four, five, five more in the top 20. So you've got eight, nine, nine or so of the top 20 DAOs are all on internet computer protocol. And this, once developers find that you can make a real DAO, once regulators demand that if you're saying it's a DAO, it has to be a real technical coded DAO, not some imaginary the developer has a back door and makes the changes on behalf of the DAO, but a real live coded DAO that has physical control through code of the assets that it says it controls. So as regulators demand these projects stop being fake DAOs and lying to people, these DAOs on ICP are going to be even more attractive. Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, who you'd think would know a thing or two about crypto and the future of crypto, says that on-chain is the new online. And where is the only place you can actually do 100% on-chain? Internet computer protocol. Now, there's another angle. So some of you have been wondering, well, isn't Amazon or Google, isn't this a threat to them? Aren't they going to kill Internet Computer Protocol? Not only is it not a threat to them, but the technology behind Internet Computer Protocol is going to help all the other companies like Amazon, Google, secure their own resources on their own private infrastructure. So the Internet, this is in Dominic's Medium article, which is, I believe this is shared in my ICP Alpha channel. The Utopia project is a new growth engine for Internet Computer Protocol. So the Internet Computer Protocol is, is pub a public world computer that anyone can build on. Well, what if Google and Amazon want to use the same technology, but they want to use their existing infrastructure? I mean, they have massive infrastructures. They probably don't want to just build on Internet Computer Protocol for the most part. They want to use their own machines. So Definity, the company behind the internet, the nonprofit in Switzerland behind Internet Computer Protocol, has made a version of this technology called Utopia, which is being used to create a new private cloud technology for enterprise. So this means Google, Amazon, Microsoft, anybody who pays for a license, and the licenses will be priced based on your size. Anybody who pays for a license will be able to spin up their own version of Internet Computer Protocol on their own servers. And that means they'll be able to rebuild whatever is most critical for security. Remember, we talked about cybercrime. Google, Amazon, Microsoft are very concerned with cybercrime because they're some of the biggest victims. They're some of the biggest places to, to lose money, and they spend some of the biggest amounts of money on security. So this Utopia project will allow all these enterprises to start building their most critical components first and then scaling out on this technology with their existing machines. So Amazon, Google, Microsoft are going to start moving from what I expect to see happen. They're going to start moving their key piece of infrastructure on to smart contracts in Utopia on their own machines. And then you're wondering, okay, well, if they can just build all their stuff with the same kind of technology on their own machines, isn't that going to screw Internet Computer over? No, because those will be private networks for their applications. And that will drive huge adoption of the ICP technology, which will then ICP will be the public component that anyone can build on. 
and then the companies will have their own private versions and these will be whenever the companies decide to which most of the time they will make it i imagine so they will be interoperable because it'll be in the best interest of the company for example if they rebuild their technology on their most core vulnerable components and they build them in smart contracts they'll be able to do things like if they make it interoperable with internet computer protocol they'll be able to accept payments in icp or any coin bitcoin ethereum they'll be able to accept crypto for payments very easily and payments is probably one of the key places they would want to get this technology built first because that would be some of the most vulnerable places you wouldn't want hacked and messed with and that could result in more revenue and lower fees. So these utopia, the utopia clouds, private clouds that are spun up will be interoperable with ICP so that companies will easily be able to accept payments if they choose to from any crypto on internet computer protocol. And uh, they'll be able to even use applications like open chat and put them and turn them into a company open chat and then those could interoperate if they wanted to with open chat on ICP. So this will mean that the this militaries, companies, governments, NGOs who would not want to build on the public internet computer network can build on this standalone network. And this means the technology will be very widely adopted. And because the technology is very widely adopted, the developer ecosystem will be so so far beyond anything else in crypto that all the developers who work on Utopia will easily be able to start a side hustle on Internet Computer Protocol because they'll already have the very valuable skills that they've got paid to learn at work. They'll already have those skills and they can easily start a side project on Internet Computer Protocol and vice versa. The developers building on Internet Computer Protocol if they're tired of being entrepreneurs, they can take their skills into enterprise. And the most precious commodity in crypto, one might argue, is crypto developers. The people who are actually building real projects and doing the real engineering, many cryptos have almost no engineers or developers. So Utopia will bring huge developer adoption and awareness to internet computer protocol, huge interoperability, and it looks like this is the future of the internet is going to be private, you know, militaries, governments, NGOs, enterprises will build on Utopia and then public stuff, Web3 apps, DeFi will be built on ICP. So this, this technology, as Dominic says, addresses all, all of the fundamental challenges facing IT today. This is not a niche play. This is like world changing technology. And the technology with it being open source, they can be sure there's no back doors with the technology. And this is how it'll work, basically, where you could use you could actually use multiple clouds. You could run AWS and Google nodes. And this way, companies could spin up on a whole bunch of different clouds and they'll be much, much more resilient and harder to take down. If there's instability, solar flare, who knows what could happen right now? Some of the infrastructures are very vulnerable. And you could even run these on your own servers as well. So with, with Utopia, this looks like, to me, the end game. This looks like the end game of crypto to me, where companies are going to move on to Utopia. Companies, governments are going to move on to Utopia. And cybercrime will be one of the huge factors motivating them to move off of the way they've been doing things, rebuild as much as they can, especially critical systems like financial systems you know security build their most critical systems first and then build out as much as possible in these new utopias which will be fully interoperable with icp and uh, you've got world changing technology right here this to me is where i see the future going and this is why nothing else by comparison excites me in crypto like this is the only technology i see in crypto that's can truly change the world and it's actually out there. You can really use it. It's not speculative, maybe it'll happen. There's not people just talking about what it can do. You can see what it can do right now. You can use it on open chat the way my community, my open chat community, if you go to my website at jerrybanfield.com, which is hosted on internet computer protocol, my open chat community has very quickly surpassed 
everything in Discord. I mean, I have my Discord for much longer, and the open chat community has generated way more revenue than Discord, way more interaction, way more chats, tens of thousands of chats. This this is the future. People like using open chat better than Discord. There's better functionality. And the only thing that you could argue like, well, why are things are the way they are today? People just don't know about this. But because there's substance, because it's not just smoke and mirrors and marketing, because there's real substance you can put your hands on, you can use it. Because it has all these different capabilities, because it's really doing things, Internet Computer Protocol, to me, is is somewhat inevitable at this point. Like, this is the future of the Internet. And you either know about it now and you hop on board and things work out great for you or you miss out. So I really appreciate you being one of the few people who watched all the way to the end of this video. I would love to get to know you better. If you want me to get to know you better, go to jerrybanfield.com. You can still talk in my Discord if you want. It's paid and so is my open chat. Open chat's one ICP for a lifetime access to chat discords monthly or if i have any video call openings available you can schedule a video call with me as well i'd love to get to know you better i'm not just a crypto guy either i have a full i'm writing my life story i have eight youtube channels i have an autobiography channel a thoughts channel two crypto channels if you're a youtuber i have a channel with what i've learned on youtube i have a music channel where I make instrumental music, I play video games, and I do other videos. So I would love to get to know you better. And if you want more Jerry Banfield, I got lots more for you. Thank you for watching all to the way to the end. Those of you that missed my longer videos, here you go. I got this one for you.